I would like to begin the story by asking you a question. If you were to buy a car today, would you consider purchasing an electric vehicle? In India, the government and automakers are aggressively pushing for green mobility. But are the customers ready to take the plunge? Watch a report on the electric revolution in India. Electric vehicles are the biggest automotive trend. The technology is gaining traction worldwide. The reasons for this are simple. Countries are trying to move away from fossil fuels. And there is a global push for sustainable solutions in all walks of life, including the automobile industry. We have a whole infrastructure around transportation that's focused on fossil fuel. In the next 15 years, at least for cars, we have to completely transition globally to electric vehicles powered by renewable energy. As you can imagine, that's going to be challenging. Um, th but that being said, it is doable, we think. We know what the technology is, and we actually know how to get there. In the past few years, numerous countries have set ambitious targets for electric vehicles and are pushing for the adoption of electric vehicles more aggressively than ever before. We're going to build out the first ever national network of charging stations all across the country, over 500,000 of them. Auto companies are made a commitment that we're going to make 50% of vehicles electric by 2030. So you'll be able to go across the whole darn country, from East Coast to West Coast. Just like you can stop at gas stations now, these charging stations will be available. We are launching our future, ve future fuels and vehicle strategy. And that's all about putting this technology in the hands of Australians to make the choices they want to make. We're not going to put their petrol prices up to make them buy electric vehicles or do anything like that. Australians will make their own choices and we're going to facilitate those by putting in place the infrastructure that enables them to make those choices into the future. At the recently concluded 2021 United Nations Climate Change Conference, India pledged to cut its carbon emissions to net zero by 2070. India too is steering towards a battery-powered automobile revolution. It has a vision and a roadmap for green mobility. State-run refiners have announced plans to build thousands of electric vehicle charging stations in the country. Indian Oil will set up 10,000 electric vehicle charging stations in the next three years. Bharat Petroleum will provide EV charging infrastructure at its 7,000 fuel stations in the next few years. And Hindustan Petroleum has plans to set up 5,000 EV charging stations in the country in three years. Electric vehicles currently make up a fraction of total sales in India. This is mainly due to their high price as the batteries are imported. But now the country is focusing on establishing a domestic supply chain for clean transport. According to officials, it will host five roadshows in countries, including the United States, Germany, France, South Korea and Japan to invite battery makers to set up local production. Tesla, LG Energy and Samsung are among those who will be invited to attend. Domestic players like Reliance Industries, Adani Group and Tata Group have shown interest in this as well. Mass demand of electric vehicles, indigenous battery technology, and localization of EV parts will lead to the same capital cost in comparison to petrol and diesel versions today due to economic of scale. The government aims to have EV sales accounting for 30% of private cars, 70% for commercial vehicles and 80% for two- and three-wheelers by 2030. To woo auto manufacturers, India will give about $3.5 billion or about 25,000 crore Indian rupees in incentives over a five-year period. While climate change is real and the government's push for electric vehicles is commendable, there are four major challenges facing electric vehicles in India. The high initial cost of buying an electric vehicle is a deterrent for most, especially in a value-driven market such as India. 
On average, an EV is twice as expensive compared to its fossil fuel counterpart, although the running cost of electric vehicles is cheaper in the long run. We do not need any artificial push for the sale of electric vehicles in India. The economics is so good that due to the low per kilometer cost, consumers would naturally shift towards buying EVs. The per kilometer cost of petrol based vehicle is rupees 10 rupees per kilometer. For diesel it is rupees 7 rupees per kilometer and for electric it is only 1 rupees per kilometer. Another challenge is the infrastructure to maintain and operate these cars. While it's important to have a fleet of charging stations across the country, users of electric vehicles face other hassles as well. The main challenge, of course, is being able to charge uh, at home. Uh, what happens to people like uh, who are staying in apartment communities? You know, uh, are the communities actually going to allow or permit installation of these charges, etc.? Yeah, I think there were two uh, main issues that uh, RWS will face. Number one, are you using common areas to park? Or are you actually having assigned areas to park? If you have assigned areas, then great. You might be permitted to install an EV charger in your location. But if you are using common areas, the challenge becomes how do you actually charge the consumer or the user? The cost of that charging is not going to the wrong people. Uh, number two, running wires across the common areas is actually something that RWS are very concerned about. Imagine if I do have a fixed spot, but running a wire all the way from my meter to my spot uh, is it has to go through the common areas. So I think that's an area that uh, the RWS actually are very concerned about. Whether uh, we have the charging infrastructure is one part, is the grid which is actually going to support all of this new load being added, is that even ready to actually support this kind of a massive transformation? Thirdly, battery fires have been haunting the electric car industry. These concerns about safety needs to be addressed. From a usability standpoint, be very safe about where you charge. Also, uh, make sure that the equipment that you're using to charge are, is, is uh, certified and rated by uh, standards and labs. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that, that's getting shipped from overseas which is not certified uh, for safety standards in India. So that's actually uh, very important to, to pay attention to. Uh, otherwise, you know, uh, I think you will enjoy the vehicle and more importantly, less maintenance because less moving parts uh, uh, better performance, so uh, enjoy the vehicle. Last but not least, India needs to look beyond electric cars and bikes to focus on other modes of transportation too, for a true clean energy revolution. While the country of 1.38 billion is on the right track, it's still far from the finish line. But then, the race is just getting started. India needs to be steady and consistent in its efforts to take electric cars to the masses. Thank you.